When you think of Castlevania, there's probably a bunch of things that come to mind. The oh, Belmont yeah. family fighting Dracula, 2D platforming, whips, or maybe even Metroidvania. There's a lot that defines the franchise, but you won't find hardly any of that in Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Playing this reboot feels much more like playing God of War. However, once you get over the fact that it has almost nothing to do with the past games, you'll find a good action adventure that is worth a look if you're a fan of the genre. The story is pretty typical save the world from evil stuff. You play as Gabriel Belmont, one of the Brotherhood of Light, basically Jedi Knights who are the only ones who can protect people from the things that want to kill and eat them. He is often accompanied by fellow Brotherhood member Zobek, and they must stop the Lords of Shadow from taking over the world. The story is nothing award-winning and doesn't fit into Castlevania canon. Probably the game's biggest selling point is that it can be downright gorgeous. Everything from the character design to the scenery is beautiful. It definitely owes a lot to Lord of the Rings, though. Patrick Stewart lends his all-too-familiar voice to Zobek and acts as narrator. The man is a master thespian, but he is stooping to over-the-top melodrama here. Thank God that you are still among the living, my friend. While there are countless breathtaking scenes to enjoy, the frame rate can drop pretty low during certain parts of the game. Also, finishing moves always trigger a slight freeze in the action. Always. And it is annoying. If you're a fan of God of War style games, good news! Lords of Shadow is pretty fun. There are a ton of combos to unlock, light and dark magic that modify your abilities, and upgrades that make you feel more and more like a badass as you play. Just like in God of War though, my eyes tended to glaze over with all the button mashing after a while, and I felt like I was just going through the motions. You have no control over the camera, which is a big pet peeve of mine. To go along with the combat, there are some clever puzzles and exciting climbing sections that remind me a bit of Assassin's Creed or Uncharted and there are many impressive boss fights against gigantic enemies. Many, many quick time events will enable you to do everything from open a door to rip out a giant's eye. Big departures from Castlevania convention include linear level progression and virtual lack of exploration. This game is huge and very replayable. There will be areas that you'll only be able to access once you power up your weapon, so returning to previous levels is encouraged. You'll also unlock level-specific challenges once you complete a stage the first time, adding further incentive to backtrack. <laughs> it's strange. I can't really recommend Lords of Shadow to Castlevania fans. I recommend it to God of War fans. Konami is calling this a reboot, but it really seems like they're trying to use a popular name to sell a completely different game. If you can put up with a few technical issues and minor gameplay annoyances, though, You'll find an enjoyable, epic quest here. For more on Lords of Shadow, head over to IGN.com.